My father said when he wake up, me was underneath the bed bottom. Yeah. I'm Welcome back to my channel. You know it's your girl Sasha and we are the heavenly family. So guys, today I'm just home. They are the one going a story time for going to watch. So if you're new as normal, we ask you guys to subscribe, like and share, hit post notification bell so you guys will never ever miss a video okay guys and also leave a comment down below tell us what you think about this videos guys we're grateful for the support we need you guys to go and watch all my videos like and share them to family friends to share them to everyone that you guys are able to share with so we do appreciate all the love all the energy all the time you guys put out watching our videos and commenting we're grateful so guys so yes, this is Doppy Experience Part 2, my story. So, when I was small, maybe five or so, my father asked my older cousins to go pick Cersei. So, you know me and the youngest one are almost the youngest one, I would say. Did they? So, you know me enough more and go with them and stuff. So, anyway, I'm the front, like I'm here lead. I know Cersei there, so I'm the front. The bigger one them there at the back. So when we catch to a point where we almost reached to where the Cersei was, I saw a man. So me tell my bigger cousin them say, When you see the man there, them say which man. So you know me young, me really know about Doppy yet. So me really never know see a Doppy because the man look real like a we are. So when I went up and I told them that, you know, see a man there, them run and leave me. So by me turn around and gone left me like them my idiot. I me a youngest one them to protect me. So anyway them run gone cause me know me shun their front, shut their back. So when I went up there and I was looking, the man get up from where he was sitting and say, What are you looking for? And me say, Cersei. Believe me, he said that. He said, What were you looking for? And me say, Cersei. So him get up and him pick it and him wrap it up and him give me and him said this is Cersei never forget that. Yes, that's what he said to me. So me assume it was a human being, it was a living person then. So I take the Cersei and I went back down. When me go down because of them I said which man you see, which man you see them not see no man. Everybody like shaking like them free. They know like them see a doppy. Okay, well it was a doppy then. So I went down and I gave my father the Cersei and him said so when I went down and I gave my father the Cersei, Kimaya, can you be a quiet girl? So I went down and I gave my father the Cersei, and him asked who pick it, and me tell him because him realized say I me alone they come from up there. So me tell him I me I describe the man to him, and him right away daddy say, you know say that that definitely the, the description we give. It's your step grandfather. And him dead many years ago. And I was like, really? Really? So you have to tell me, say me just talk to a doppy. Well, guys, it, many of you will say it is a weird story. Many of you won't believe this story, but I know what I see. I know what has happened that day. And I swear that story is so real. So the story is real as much as we are real. As much as, much as life is real. That story was so real. Yes, and it is real. So, after my father told me that, I was like... So, yes. We can't say dopey, really. So, anyways, my father told me that when I was... A baby, maybe a few months old, him got to him bed and him dream, say him come look for me. That's the same person that picked the Cersei, which is my step grandfather. Come look, say him want to see the baby. And my father told him, no, you're dead. Then I see the baby. 
So the surprising thing where hit me is that one. My father when he wake up me was underneath the bed bottom. Yeah. And my father say him dream that him take me up. And they go away with me. So he was leaving with me. Maybe want to take me for a walk. Etc. I don't know. Take me for a walk, I don't know. And then my father saying, hold on for me. And my mother say, I'm hearing me and I'm sleep like him. I do the look um morning down or whatever. Everybody know the sound there when they said up he was somebody. Kimaya, be quiet. Well, everybody know the look of sound there when people make when they said up he was them. I don't know if nobody ever hear that, but in time people they sleep. And you hear them like them are balling and they sleep or then they're moaning and they sleep. Them said up he was them down. I don't know how true that be. Okay? So, the surprising thing where hit me as me say, all the while I kind of think about that. And when my father said when him actually wake up, my mother actually wake him up and him get up, me under the bed for true. Me under the So guys, that story is a weird story. Very weird story. I know many of you guys may have stories like this or experienced stuff like this or you know, parents and things like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really and truly guys, that story was a real story. Real, real experience. It was so real that I didn't believe it was a doppy or a spirit, whatever it may be. I don't know how that is possible that I actually see these things but it's reality so guys if you enjoy this video and you want part three story time and you want to hear more of my stories like and share hit post notification bell so you guys will never miss a video don't forget to comment don't forget to share this video don't forget to like up this video and remember guys we are definitely hoping for you guys to help us so we can reach our goals so guys support us share this video all over the world you know we need the support because when you guys support me anytime i reach my goals i'm gonna help someone so guys until next time it's your girl sasha i'm out